Look how fat those back wheels are, bro. How wide are your rear wheels on that, man? 11. 11? Damn. I only got eight, boys. Listen to this beast. Yo. Bro, we're gonna be listening to that thing drifting around corners and crap. That sounds good. It sounds mean. It's like an aggressive sound, you know? Here's a small comparison. Honestly, it's not that much quieter. This is definitely louder though. Something that I just barely learned is if you're using like your own tool and not like an air like tightener, you're not supposed to tighten those lug nuts like past a certain thing. So when I was doing it, see I just tightened them as much as I as much as I could. I didn't realize that they had to be like only a certain amount. So that's something new that I learned today. Never seen that tool before. When you apply 100 foot pounds of torque to this, it'll click. Oh, there we go. Was that the right one? Exactly. That was the click. Cool. So when you hear that click, that's when you stop. Yeah. Because it gets to 100 foot pounds, and then otherwise you over torque it. And torque specs are just something you use on any any car. It doesn't matter. Whenever you're right? doing anything, you have to use a torque spec because if you over torque something, you strip stuff out. Right on. So that, that can do damage to your lug nuts when you do stuff like that. Yeah, see, I didn't realize that. I mean, it was the whole reason we did it is because, okay, so you know who JJ is? Uh, Chris, Chris's buddy. So I let JJ drive my car. Okay. After we put the, the sway bar links, or the, the side sway bar links on it. Yeah. And we forgot to tighten. We like when we oh, forgot to wheels. tighten our fucking wheels and guess what I let him drive it and he sent it on a straightaway to like hundred and twenty three miles an hour and With loose lug nuts, bro. Yeah <laughs> We're so lucky yeah, wow. yeah, so that that's probably part of the reason when I just when I got back I was just like yeah, no nah, dude <laughs> tightening these fuckers <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. So something to note that Daniel actually noticed, my new auto mechanic, Daniel, is that the where your sway bar links are connected to, they're like different. Like you see how that one is like, it's like it's pretty much straightforward. The one on the left over here, you see how that one's like. Uh, all right, you see how that one's a little bent? It's like it's not straight. I'm pretty sure that that is not supposed to be like that, correct, Daniel? What's, what's that? The coilovers, how that, like, where the top sway bar connects right here, it's like oh, right flat. Right. Well, yeah, no, that's that's just how they manufactured it. You know, it was, uh, it was not welded onto that bracket correctly. Right, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it, so it is. Just whoever whoever uh, welded that didn't get it in the exact spot. It's pretty close. But yeah, when you buy it, uh, less expensive coilover, that's all. You know, you spend a grand on a set of coilovers, it would be perfect. Right. You spend about four or five, six hundred bucks, it's going to have things like that on it. I don't know, man. Like, I really want to get a... Uh... Someone was telling me that to not get Brembo's because... It like well the pro the problem with Brembo's is that you'll never actually drive this car to eat it. Right, but like I just I want that color, bro. You know, I love that like nice. I I wouldn't get the red ones, but I because eventually I want this whole car to be like 
all black and green. Yeah, you could, That's for what it's worth. You already have you have decent calipers on there. I mean, if you were gonna start making this into you know a tracking car, mm -hmm. then I'd say go with a bigger brake setup because you actually get use out of it. But if you're daily in this thing mostly, just keep what you have. Paint them. Paint them. You can paint your calipers. Oh yeah, Chris was telling me about that. You just put them in the oven. You know, well, yeah, if you want to do the bake on stuff, but you can't really do that with the seals. So you would actually have to take that caliper completely apart to do that. Because if you do that with the boot in there, it'll melt the rubber boot, and then the calipers can't rebuild it anyway. So oh yeah. You're better off not to not to even bake them, but they actually make like a high temp uh, caliper paint where you just you just go over this thing with a wire brush and then paint that, and you're done. Right on. Cleans it up. Boot right in the way, huh? Yeah, yeah. So what I'm makes the to... sway bar link? Uh, like the two things? Exactly. What is? What are those for? The adjustable, you said? Uh, the two mounting holes in that? Yeah, yeah. So you can set it up so it's more aggressive and less more aggressive, which I don't know if you do any research on that, because I, I don't know which one of those holes is which, but I'll know when I look at it once it's in here. Like, what do you mean? Like, handling? Um, yeah, it'll, it'll make it probably stiffer or softer, depending on which hole that's in. Oh. See, something I'm learning about cars is it, it really comes down to the tools. You know? Like, obviously, you got to know what you're doing. But, like, a lot of it has to do with having the correct tools. You know what I mean? Yeah. Took yours all the way off. I was hoping I would just be able to slide. Yeah, it definitely does, man. I mean, you gotta have, you don't have all the right stuff. Where's that? 12. I want to take another one You know, like you, I mean, like, it's like a couple of bolts, you know? Yeah, it should just be these few, but. I was like, when, when we installed the coilovers, I was just like, this was so. I mean, the only issue we had was the fucking the sway bar links. We couldn't friggin' get those off. Right. Um, that's what That's what led to this. Right, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, that was the only thing that, that was like an issue. Like everything else was just like having the proper tools and tightening shit down, you know you what I mean? Going your way with it? Yeah, I thought you were pushing it. No, I was trying to rotate it up so that I could get it down because it can't come out like that. This might not come out at all like this. Yeah, mine's hitting the sunburn. Yeah, we're gonna have to take it down. All right, this thing's gonna come off. Let's get some fly and some other things. I'll grab those if you get your tens off. Actually, okay, I did. Yeah. See, boys, there's proof I did scrape the other day at the bank. <laughs> I was falling out of the bank, bro, and I thought they were freaking dusting, and I need to wash my goddamn car because. Oh, they were, road. they were like, whatever, using the air dusters to dust out the parking lot. Um, so when I was driving through the bank to cash my trunk check, is what I call it. Yeah. Um, they, uh, they had like this really sharp, like sharp. There's like you know where the how they had the water tunnels where yeah. whatever. So there was like, there was that, and then there was like the sharp, like where the air from the cold weather, uh, the pothole, pot heaves, yeah. whatever the fuck you want to call them. Frost heaves. Frost heaves, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brain fire. Right. Um, had uh, like pushed off, and I thought that, like I was scared it was going to break my oil thing. The, um, whatever, for changing your oil and all my oil will leak out. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah. Yeah. Your oil pan, it's right there. One more of those. Yeah. yeah oh, so that thing would protect it anyways. That's its job. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. never mind. So much it actually does. It will probably hit your uh, exhaust first because your exhaust hangs a lot lower. That's your, that's your exhaust variable. Yeah. Oh, so that's how you, that's what you replace that get the different sounds? Um, yeah, if you wanted to get a whole new exhaust manifold, this thing would come off and you'd get a new one on there. But if you were ever, if you were thinking of doing a turbo, I'd wait till you turbo. 
Oh yeah, yeah, well, I want to get a cold air intake and then the turbo. I just feel like that'll keep everything cooler, well, you, you know? Won't, yeah, you won't even, the thing is, is you won't even have the cold air intake piece when you have a turbo. Because the way the turbo works is it's actually using the exhaust gas to ramp up intake pressure and pushing cold air. So it's actually hot because it comes off of the cold side of the turbo, but it's still the turbo. Actually, turbo. you know what? Coming from a mechanics side of the view, yeah. do you think it's safe to turbo this car? Because I have watched tons of YouTube videos saying it's horrible for it and your engine is going to blow. Yeah, it's not built to have a turbo. I mean, it's not designed like that. So depending on how much horsepower you push it will depend on longevity. The more horsepower you push without doing internals, the more likely you're going to blow this thing up. Right. But can I take these or you want me to do them my hand? You can them. So they're just, uh, basically it all... Break them free first. There was something that has a, a and I actually, I'm going to go drive it eventually down in Massachusetts. He has a Gretty or G ready, I never know how to fucking pronounce it. G ready, ready, whatever. You, yeah. uh, he has a turbo, and he was telling me how he had to replace like a bunch of the gauges and the fuel lines and all that sort of stuff. Is that what you're talking about for doing the turbo? Yeah. Um, no, because you have so there's inter, the reason you have an intercooler is because that thing's job is the when the turbo is spooling, it's pushing the cold side air through the intercooler to cool it off. Right, and no, from I'm... From there, it goes into your intake manifold. So if you take, if you take and, and run a cold air intake on this thing... Right, no, I'm talking about, about blowing it up. Oh, um, well, I mean, you can blow it up a lot of different ways, but... Right. You know, push power yeah, actually, the engine in this is brand, pretty brand new. It's like a 2000, because I actually did. I. I, something happened to my engine going down the highways from my mom's at Christmas. Yeah. And my engine just like, something, it was like a, one of the valves broke and I had to get like the front head and the rear head replaced. So, yeah, I mean it was all under warranty. But, but yeah, it, has, it pretty much has a brand new engine in it, or motor. And it fucking sucked because I had to drive around a Nissan Sontra right now. You know what, man? You got a boxer engine. These things aren't great. Right? I mean, the car world knows that. There are Subaru guys that are nuts for these cars. That's cool. Because they are cool. I love the sound. I cool. love the sound. It sounds so much... To push the last power. Yeah. I gotta start my car. What one? <laughs> My car is the RX-8 that's out there. Ooh, yeah. It's the other drift car. No noise. Yeah. So let me see how much battery I got left on this thing. Old one's out. Not too good. Okay, put that tiny little thing. Law. Toyota. Or no, Subaru. It's probably Subaru, honestly. <laughs> what is it? Is it Toyota Subaru or Scion Sway Bar? What one? But, uh, what about Porsches? Aren't those boxer engines? Yeah. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. I bet I could. Why, you like this transmission? What's that? I said, why, you like this transmission? No, it's just there's, there's an abundance of them as well. Make my car and use it. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you said you would come with the Supra one, right? The Supra? No. Right on. install a sway bar. Now you just got to connect the links. The sway bar pushing mount on and then we can get that for sure. Or I guess I was incorrect. Yeah. Are you spinning? Yep. Pretty sweet. That's neat. Never seen that. What is that? So it goes on just like this. So what what's your initial review of this sway bar? It's pretty nice. I mean it's it's definitely a lot stiffer than you would need 
if you wanted to drift this thing. So you could soften it up a bunch when you, when you drift, especially with the sway bar legs being adjustable. Okay. I would allow it to soften up if I was gonna slide this. Huh, and believe it or not, boys, I only paid 160 bucks for this thing, so I will throw the Amazon link down in the description for you guys. If you guys would like to go and grab it, all my other car crap is down there as well that I've installed so far, so. Word. Cam, do you have a bag of hardware already? No, I do not. The only issue I had is they didn't send me the right fucking color. That pisses me off. But in all fairness, I'm not sure whether we're going to wrap it that Viper lime green or that matte purple. So, but I will show you guys all of the, the wraps that we, uh, whatever. The wraps I like. So what are those for? Just to protect it? These ones? Yeah. These clamp it to this piece of steel. Ah. So what makes them cool? Well, uh, that little grease fitting. I've never seen that. Oh. Yeah, well, that's just going to be a tight one. What is it, like a ball? Yeah, for both of us bag size. Yeah, I know, but what is what do you mean by grease fitting? Oh, it's a little opening where you can insert grease. Yeah, you spray grease and it'll keep it lubricated. Oh, cool. I'm not really sure why that would be on a sway bar. Just so it doesn't get scratched. Oh. Uh, well, it's for So you can keep something that nobody will ever see nice and pretty looking. gonna go all the way tight with that thing just yet. If you go all the way tight, I'm not gonna have enough to be able to get that bolt. Now we're seeing what hole we should put it in. We're the front or rear? We're going to start you in the front and then see where that <laughs> lands you. See how you like it. That's right. Pretty sure the rear is a little bit tighter though. If they, if they made the holes correctly. I think we only need it too stiff. It's already going to be a lot stiffer than it was. Yeah. Nah. I'm just a fucking 15 year old kid at heart, brother. <laughs> yeah, aren't we all? Okay, I think. Um, yeah, just use the needle greaser. You can get a little bit in there. You don't have to go crazy. Those wrenches he's using, it's called a, what is it called again? A ratchet wrench. A ratchet wrench. A, or a gear wrench. Yeah, whatever. Right? And yes, I know probably every single one of you watching is like, how the hell do you not know what that is? I have already told you boys, I am very new to the car scene. So, that's my excuse. All right, so something kind of cool that I did not know. So the, the tighter this is, the faster I'm gonna be able to take corners is how I understood what you just said, right? Pretty much, but don't, don't push it. I won't. <laughs> Sweet and the explosions happen on the long side of the triangle to get that to spin and the crankshaft goes through the center of it rather Sweet. than being a piston. So it sounds kind of funny. Sounds different? Yeah, you'll hear it. Ooh, I like the front rims, those are nice. Yeah, the guy I bought it off the scab at the wall, my front end's all fucked up. Right. Cold start, boys. It's been a while. This is his drift car, by the way.
bro that sounds good it's unique it's like uh almost sounds like a motorcycle like a mix between a motorcycle and a car kind of yeah. the uh the rotary engine your engine is the boxer motor it's probably yeah. this wide by like this big mm -hmm. my engine you can't even see it this is my alternator on the front of it and it's underneath there and the whole thing is only about this big by like this wide i can hold it like this oh wow yeah. And it makes, cool. it makes about 30 more horsepower than your car. Damn. But it weighs like half. Half of what your car weighs. Oh, this is even lighter than my car? Yeah, just because. Oh, wow. Just because of that engine. Oh, it's yeah. Really small. Yeah. Huge. Cool. You know what, bro? Being up here made me realize I really need to get myself a drone. Cause I really do want to do the uh, transformation video. I'm not fully done with the car yet. There's still a few things that I want to do after the wrap. And I'm not sure, I did mention it earlier on, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually put it in this video and we'll make a separate video for it. Just ordering the wrap and that kind of stuff. For everyone wondering what was actually in that other video that I failed, uploading um the car wash whatever video that we did where we couldn't go there or wasn't a dedicated video for that um the car wash was closed so i woke up in the morning thought of an idea of going to ask the fire station if they would spray my car down but I made a mistake when I got there and said to the lady, will you wash my car? And then about three minutes later after driving, I realized, why did I ask her to wash my car? She probably thought that I meant a full blown freaking car wash, not to just, <laughs> not to just spray it down with the hose. So I felt like a complete idiot, man. But, hey, whatever, it didn't hurt to ask and I, I already know. I'm, I'm really hoping that she's outside one of these days, uh, one of these days, so I can go out there and just say to them or say to her, you know, I meant to just spray it down with the fire hose. I didn't mean for you to wash my car. It's, you know what I mean, bro? It's like when you just randomly go up to someone and like ask them to wash your car. That that's probably what she ended up thinking. I I meant. But anyways, man, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. I'm just going to go on this walk. I'll get back home, start editing the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my videos. And catch you guys in the next one. Peace.